Have you ever wondered how some of the world's most beautiful cities are being overwhelmed by tourists? It's a phenomenon called over-tourism, and it's happening all over the globe. From the ancient ruins of Prague to the picturesque canals of Berlin, these places are struggling to keep up with the sheer number of visitors. The charm that once made these destinations so special is now at risk of being lost forever. In this piece, we're going to explore 10 cities that have been hit hardest by over-tourism. We'll dive into why these cities made our list, what factors contributed to their current state, and why they rank where they do. So buckle up, because we're about to take a whirlwind tour of some of the most crowded spots on Earth. Number 10. Prague Imagine a city where 5.45 million tourists flood the streets each year, with an astonishing density of 10,988 tourists per square kilometer. Affordable travel options, budget airlines, and social media fame have turned this destination into a tourist hotspot. The impact is profound, skyrocketing rental prices, locals being pushed out of their homes, and the historic center losing its local charm. Touristification has transformed many areas to cater primarily to visitors. Stag and hen parties bring noise and disruption, while the economy teeters on the edge of over-dependence on tourism. This is Prague. But how is the city fighting back? Prague is tackling over-tourism head-on. The I Have an Idea campaign lets locals suggest improvements for city life. Strict regulations on nightlife and pub crawls are being enforced and the city is rolling out measures to protect residents and address tourism-related issues. For those seeking a similar vibe without the crowds, consider visiting Olomouc, a charming city in Moravia with stunning Renaissance to Baroque architecture, or Brno, Czechia's second-largest city, offering a blend of history and modern culture with fewer tourists. Prague's authorities are also focusing on sustainable tourism. They are implementing measures to preserve the city's cultural heritage while ensuring that tourism does not negatively impact the quality of life for residents. This includes promoting off-peak travel and encouraging tourists to explore lesser-known areas of the city. By doing so, Prague aims to distribute the influx of visitors more evenly throughout the year and across different parts of the city. Number 9. Berlin Now picture a city where the clash between locals and tourists is reaching a boiling point, each year, 12.1 million tourists flood the streets, squeezing 13,580 tourists into every square kilometer. The impact is significant. Tensions flare between residents and visitors, especially in trendy districts. Noise pollution from the constant hustle and rising housing costs push locals out. Overcrowding turns everyday life into a struggle with congestion at every corner. This is Berlin. However, Berlin is not giving up. Authorities are shifting focus to quality tourism, attracting Congress attendees and cultural tourists instead of party-goers. In certain areas, the pulling of wheel suitcases has been banned to reduce noise. Strict regulations on short-term rentals are in place with heavy fines for violations. The Berlin Senate's tourism concept aims to attract quality tourism and disperse tourists to surrounding areas. If you are looking for a Berlin-like experience without the crowds, try Leipzig, often called the New Berlin, with its rich history and world-class sites, or explore Warsaw, with areas like Praga offering a unique charm similar to Berlin's diverse neighborhoods. Berlin is also investing in infrastructure improvements to better accommodate both residents and tourists. This includes enhancing public transportation, creating more green spaces, and developing new cultural attractions outside the city center. By doing so, Berlin hopes to create a more balanced and sustainable tourism strategy that benefits both locals and visitors. Number 8. Edinburgh Get ready for our next stop, where history's charm is both a blessing and a curse. Edinburgh attracts 1.8 million tourists each year, packing 14,286 visitors into every square kilometer. Limited space, High visitor numbers and seasonal peaks create a perfect storm. Picture a castle receiving over a million visitors a year and a compact city center packed with popular attractions. The impact is clear. Daily life becomes a challenge with crowded streets and worn-out infrastructure. The city's numerous festivals, while culturally enriching, make it feel like a theme park, straining the authentic character. But Edinburgh is fighting back. A tourist tax of £2 per day helps fund infrastructure improvements. 
A strategic plan aims for a balanced and sustainable tourism strategy, distributing visitors throughout the year and across different parts of the city. The city supports local businesses and diversifies its economy. Edinburgh is also promoting responsible tourism practices, encouraging visitors to respect the local culture and environment. By doing so, the city aims to preserve its unique charm and ensure a positive experience for both residents and tourists. Edinburgh is also focusing on enhancing the visitor experience by offering guided tours that highlight lesser-known historical sites and cultural landmarks. This not only helps to alleviate overcrowding at popular attractions, but also provides tourists with a deeper understanding of the city's rich heritage. Additionally, the city is working on improving public transportation and pedestrian pathways to make it easier for visitors to explore different parts of Edinburgh without contributing to traffic congestion. Number 7. Talent. Now let's delve into a city where history and modern tourism collide within a confined space. Imagine a relatively small city inundated by 2.95 million tourists annually, 18,553 visitors per square kilometer. This influx reshapes the city profoundly, shifting local businesses away from residents' needs and creating seasonal jobs that lead to economic instability. Pollution and littering degrade the urban environment, making daily life challenging for locals. This is Tallinn. Tallinn has implemented several measures to address these issues. The city employs zoning techniques to manage tourist flows and has established an early warning system with key performance indicators, KPIs, to monitor tourism pressures. Data-driven decision-making helps manage seasonal fluctuations, and traffic regulations aim to reduce congestion. Initiatives are also in place to revitalize areas outside the old town, balancing tourism with heritage protection and promoting less visited parts of the city. If you're looking for a similar experience with fewer people, consider visiting Hapsalu, a charming seaside town with a medieval castle and mud spa or explore Vilnius, Lithuania, which offers a mix of medieval and modern attractions. Number 6. Santorini Next, we journey to the breathtaking island of Santorini. Though not a city, its beauty and tourism issues deserve mention. Picture an island with a population of just 15,480, yet it attracts over 2 million visitors each year. That's more than 100 tourists for every resident. The allure includes stunning sunsets, iconic white houses, and luxury cliffside villas. However, the reality is severe overcrowding, with narrow streets and hot spots like Oya becoming extremely congested. Environmental strain from increased waste and energy consumption, along with infrastructure stress, makes basic utilities struggle to cope. About 11% of the island has been concreted over in recent years to accommodate rapid tourism growth pushing the population from 15,500 in 2011 to around 25,000 today. Santorini is taking steps to manage this influx. In 2018, a daily cap of 8,000 cruise visitors was introduced. The Greek Ministry of Environment and Energy has suspended new building permits for tourist accommodations in certain areas. Respect campaigns remind tourists to honor homes and holy sites, while efforts are made to promote off-season tourism and diversify experiences to spread the tourist load. From my experience, being a tourist in Santorini can be tough. For a similar stunning scenery without the crowds, visit Folagandros, a secret alternative to Santorini with similar volcanic landscapes and breathtaking sunsets. Alternatively, explore Milos, known for its diverse landscapes, whitewashed villages, and unique beaches like Sarakinico. Number 5. Heraklion Staying in Greece, let's talk about Heraklion. Imagine a city that welcomed 6.47 million tourists last year, packing 26,425 visitors into every square kilometer. Social media promotion, a lack of visitor limits, and a focus on quantity over quality have driven these numbers. High tourist numbers deplete natural resources like water and energy, leading to environmental degradation. Pollution and waste from increased tourism harm local ecosystems and cultural sites suffer from commercialization. Overcrowding diminishes the quality of life for residents, disrupting daily life and limiting access to public spaces. Heraklion is taking steps to manage over-tourism. The Greek government emphasizes sustainability and environmental protection. 
efforts are underway to diversify tourism offerings, promoting cultural and culinary experiences to spread tourists across different attractions. Proposals to establish a tourism observatory in Crete aim to gather data on tourism impacts, guiding policy decisions. Additionally, there are calls to regulate short-term rentals, which significantly impact the local housing market. For a Greek island experience without the crowds, try Serifos, known for its tranquility and traditional cycladic charm, or explore Castoria in northern Greece, offering beautiful lakes, Byzantine churches, and traditional mansions away from typical tourist routes. Number 4. Budapest Budapest is actively addressing the issue of over-tourism. The city is diversifying its tourism offerings to distribute visitors more evenly across different areas. Revenue from tourism taxes is being used to maintain the city, including hiring more street cleaners. Officials are also considering pricing strategies to manage demand better. Efforts are underway to involve local residents in tourism-related decisions, ensuring their voices are heard. However, if you're looking for a similar adventure with more breathing room, consider exploring Bratislava. The old town's pedestrian zones are perfect for leisurely strolls, and if thermal baths are your thing, Tbilisi in Georgia offers unique sulfur baths. Number 3. Krakow Next, we journey to a beautiful city in Poland that remained mostly intact during World War II. Krakow attracts 9.3 million tourists annually, squeezing 28,400 visitors into every square kilometer. Cheap flights, low prices, and its reputation as a stag-do haven have driven these numbers. The impact is evident. The historic center has undergone Disneyfication, becoming a tourist-friendly version of itself. Foodification has led to a proliferation of food-focused businesses, while gentrification is pushing out long-term residents and traditional businesses. The city's services now cater primarily to tourists, creating tensions between residents, the tourism industry, visitors, and city government. Krakow is slowly taking steps to manage over tourism. The sustainable tourism policy aims to balance the benefits of tourism with preserving cultural heritage and the quality of life for residents. The Heritage City Management Plan aligns with UNESCO guidelines to manage the historical area. Local initiatives like Be a Tourist in Your City encourage residents to explore their own city and support local businesses. Krakow also participates in international collaborations with cities like Amsterdam and Vienna to develop sustainable tourism practices. If you're open to alternatives, consider visiting Torun known for its Gothic architecture, gingerbread, and as the birthplace of Copernicus. Alternatively, explore Rockloff, which offers beautiful architecture, numerous bridges, and a vibrant cultural scene with fewer tourists. Number 2. Reykjavik Reykjavik is taking steps to manage tourism by focusing on quality over quantity. The city aims to attract high-earning professionals with new visa programs for remote workers, Efforts are made to encourage longer stays in each region rather than short weekend trips. Downtown hotel construction is banned, and there are stricter regulations on short-term rentals. The Tourist Site Protection Fund helps conserve natural and cultural sites, and discussions are ongoing about introducing entry fees for national parks. If you're craving similar dramatic landscapes without contributing to over-tourism, explore the Faroe Islands known for their unspoiled nature and unique Nordic culture. Alternatively, visit the Shetland Islands for stunning scenery, ancient history, and fewer visitors. From the icy landscapes of Reykjavik, we now dive into the heart of a city pulsating with culture and history. Envision a city teeming with 17.3 million tourists each year, where every square kilometer is alive with 41,700 visitors. Drawn by the allure of social media, exceptional location, and world-famous attractions, this cultural hub is in constant motion. The cost? Iconic sites like St. Stephen's Cathedral and Hofburg Palace are swamped. The city's streets and public spaces are overwhelmed, complicating daily life for locals. Infrastructure strains under the tourist load while shifts towards a tourist-centric economy and the rise of short-term rentals reshape the cityscape and squeeze out residents. Number 1. Vienna Vienna is grappling with these challenges by implementing various measures to manage the influx of tourists. 
the city is promoting off-season travel and encouraging visitors to explore lesser-known attractions. Public awareness campaigns aim to educate tourists about respectful behavior and the importance of preserving cultural heritage. Additionally, Vienna is investing in infrastructure improvements to better accommodate the growing number of visitors while ensuring that the needs of residents are met. If you're looking for a similar cultural experience with fewer crowds, consider visiting Graz, Austria's second-largest city, known for its well-preserved medieval old town and vibrant art scene. And there you have it, folks! These 10 cities have found themselves on our list because of the overwhelming number of tourists they attract each year. From the bustling streets of Berlin to the serene beauty of Vienna, each destination has its own unique challenges. Over-tourism has led to everything from environmental damage to strained local resources, making it clear why these cities are struggling. As travelers, it's important for us to be mindful of the impact we have on these beloved places. Let's work together to preserve their beauty for future generations to enjoy. Thanks for joining us on this journey. And remember, travel responsibly. If you enjoyed this video, let us know in the comment section down below and turn on your notifications to know when next we upload. See you in our next video. Bye-bye.